I have physical aggression. I like to push my limits. I like to see what I can do. I like to force myself to grow. I, I want to evolve. I, I'm not happy just being settling and just doing one thing. I want to push myself to new levels and new extremes as much as I possibly can. And MMA fit that and it pushed me and it made me who I am. When I see an opponent in front of me, my goal is just to break them. Whether it's physically or emotionally, I look to break them. No mercy whatsoever. I was 20 when I went into the Marine Corps. I did three tours to Iraq each six months, roughly. When I first got out of the Marine Corps in January 2010, I started training MMA. That first week, I got beat up. My coach, Manny, he said, if it's something you really want to do, then I'm going to throw you to the wolves, and you're going to have to spar. He wanted to test my heart. And I came out of it with my nose busted, bloody, hair pulled out, shirt ripped, just sweat covered, smiling. Three and a half months after that, I had my first amateur fight. And then my fourth month, I had my first professional fight. It's really unusual for people to, to go pro so early and have such success early in their career. And originally when I talked to my coaches, they said, hey, you're gonna be training for at the earliest a year, but it'll probably take two to three years before you ever have your first amateur or uh, pro fight. And then it just so happened that opportunities came up that allowed us to go pro after just uh, four months of training. I found a group of people like Bill Crawford, who's given me an opportunity here to work and who allow me to train and take time off so that I can devote my time to training when I want to. She opens a gym in the morning, she works the counter, she sells memberships. She teaches classes, she does personal training. It's just our job every day. That just means she's really strong. It's a good thing. All right, he's our winner for today, guys. Liz's class is really fun. I'd always been into fighting. I get my aggression out here. We learn arm bars. We learn knees and punches. I feel really good about being here in this class. I think Liz is a very good teacher. Five, four, three, two, one, time! I think I always suspected that, that I was a lesbian, but I wasn't sure until I actually talked to one of my friends and she kind of pulled it out of me and, and found it for herself. I think a lot of people in my life knew before I did. It was just a matter of saying it out loud. When I went to the military, I was also starting to come out to myself and that was very trying and difficult. They always threaten that you get kicked out of the military and be dishonorably discharged. Therefore, it's setting up your whole life for failure because you wouldn't be able to get a job after that. <laughs> My girlfriend's name is Elisa. We've been together for three years in April. I would see her around and uh, I would see her in the classes and she was doing 20 times more work than the guys were doing. it's easier for me to see her at the gym because she's so busy. So I hardly get to see her at home, so I have to come and work out so I can actually see her. We're how late? Oh, um, I'm gonna try to get out at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. I mean, it's not normally that late. Right. For the most part, all I'm getting from, from everyone is nothing but positive feedback. 
about being open and being honest. Some of the fans are going out there and putting uh, like Lisbo Posse on the shirts to wear them to the fight. And my coach, Manuel Hernandez, he came up with the Girl Rolla nickname. And he's also the one that came up with the Lisbos. He wanted to give them a label and something that they could hold on to and unite together with. People support that big time. Every time I see on Twitter and Facebook, they're like, I'm a Lisbo. <laughs> Yeah, now you want to come in. Fighting just pays for the car when it has issues. My my income solely that that I uh, that I use is what I make from the gym. I'm making a thousand a fight doesn't pay for any bills when you when you figure that if you're committing six hours a day just to training, not considering all the time that you give for for interviews, for your specific diet. Once you factor in all that, you're easily giving eight to 10 hours a day and you get paid $1,000 to train for six months. It doesn't make any sense. It does The math doesn't add up at all. Sponsorship deals are clothing. They'll provide them with some gear and they'll apply them with clothes, which does not pay the bills. Myself, like many other women, have struggled to figure out how to balance the rest of our lives with work as well as with our training and our fight life. Basically, it's impossible to work eight or 10 hours a day at another job and then still get enough time to train. The good thing about uh, working here is in between every class and every personal training session, we're training. My teammates are flexible with me and everybody understands and allows me to go away for a week for a fight. To be a true mixed martial artist, you have to be a well-rounded fighter. You can't just be a wrestler that goes in there and fights. You can't just be a boxer that goes in there and thinks that jujitsu isn't gonna play into it. You have to, to be able to do everything and, and let it tie in. And for me, I didn't have a background in karate for five years experience. I didn't have a background in boxing or jujitsu. I came into it with nothing. And so the only thing I could do was kind of bring up everything together so I could be the best well-rounded fighter I could be. When I was a child, I played soccer and I played volleyball for a small school. And no matter how hard I worked, I could give 150% every single day, day in and day out. If the rest of my team wasn't giving the same, then we wouldn't succeed. Now, it finally pays off. All the work that I put in pays off when I'm in the cage. And so that's a great feeling to know that I can finally get the success through my hard work. Liz has already been in contention for a championship fight uh, just because of her work ethic. She trains to whether she's always just two weeks out from a fight. In other words, her, you know, she doesn't let her weight get out of hand. Uh, she's always ready to go. She trains every day. Uh, on short notice, she can take every fight and she's there to fight. She's not there just to show up. We knew she would be a world champion one day. With the UFC putting the women's division in, this is her opportunity. She's ready for it. She's been waiting for it. We're ready for it and she's good to go. There's nothing that I can go in there and face that I haven't already experienced in some worse state or form. So there's nothing I'm afraid of. I've broken fingers, I've dislocated things, I have hyperextended stuff, and I come back stronger from it. With MMA, I want to get as far as they'll let me go. <laughs> I'm looking for the championship. That's it. Good night, everyone.